Hey everyone, it's a reaction video to the newly termed Sonic 4 now that we've actually seen the damn thing. Uh, do you remember the last time we just tried, we tried to do a thoughts on Project Needle Mouse video? You mean when How we had that, that little screen cap <laughs> thing that last? When we all. had absolutely nothing to talk about. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that vividly. Uh, I remember just like it was there. yesterday. Uh, let's see. You weren't missing anything, trust us. <laughs> it was boring as fuck, that's why we didn't Well, the shadow is very nice. I can tell it's supposed to be Sonic, I guess. <laughs> look at that uh, silhouette. Yeah, speaking of fans, a lot of fans took that silhouette as meaning we'd be seeing the retro Sonic design and are getting fairly... Eh, because it's not. Well, either that was... It was either that or Pikachu with a sombrero. <laughs> Some people said it was Princess Sally. <laughs> what? <laughs> I shit you not. Ah, here's the still frame I was looking for. Hang we all, on, I'm we, we all know set. Sega hates the American continuity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mobius? In... What the fuck is Mobius? <laughs> well, there's a Mobius loop on the picture that I'm looking at, but that's not the same thing, is it? No. Uh, the, um, uh, speaking of, yeah, and you still have people complaining that they're using the name Eggman instead of Robotnik. Why? Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, Fuck off. <laughs> Seriously. It's like, every time I see that on the Sega forums, I have to say, okay, alright, we grew up with Robotnik, but it was always Eggman in Japan, so just shut up already. I do like uh, Robotnik better, but I'm not gonna make a big well, shit. You see, I, I don't I care. Don't... I don't, I don't care which name they use, and uh, if the game doesn't have any voice acting or dialogue, which I think I, it may not, by simply by being a downloadable game, it doesn't matter what they call them in the instructions. I don't really care either, but you would have thought that, since they're going completely back to, I guess, the old timeline, more or less, just, you know, the old, you know, Death Egg area sort of thing. Well, they would well have it's least, taking they place would have after least... S3K, yeah. You just yeah, I it's just, after I just, Sonic and Knuckles. I just figured that we would at least, you know, passively mention the name, but it doesn't really matter. Well, they might. We don't know yet. What well, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of think of the graphics. Oh, it looks it looks beautiful, especially they look in really still, good, especially in still frame when you can't see Sonic's awkward jogging animation. <laughs> yeah, the one that isn't the spinning legs that they really should have done. Yeah. I'm sorry. But, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I I'm assuming looking... they're gonna change it. I would hope so, because I hate that stiff animation. I want the spinny feet back. Well, here's the thing. I think at the very most in the final product, that uh, running animation is going to be his jogging animation, because he's always had a jogging animation as he builds up to top speed. Yeah. I, bet he, I, I, I bet they're probably going to put him in the bird run, like from Sonic Adventure and onward, when he's actually really, really running. I want the spinny feet. I'm a bird. Well, I, I kind of like the spinny feet, and t to be honest, I'm hoping that they put in a retro Sonic model as an alternate character skin that you can play with that has the spinny feet. But with the with the current character design and with a 3D model, I just don't see the spinny feet looking Super graceful. Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Well, that was <laughs> yeah. Super Smash. That wasn't the spinny feet. That was the figure eight feet. It's, it, it, same thing. Oh, it was the same damn thing. <laughs> well. Not really, because it's actually just Sonic CD. It's the same thing. And it actually looked kind of stupid in Sonic CD, if I if I have to say so. But I it looked. <laughs> We're amazing. gonna spend ten minutes talking about his feet. <laughs> well, the fans have already spent like a whole day talking about his feet and his eyes. Uh, uh, well, okay. Like, well, a lot of people a lot of people are bugged by the animation quality just on the teaser. I gotta I gotta I gotta say this. Look, a lot of people brought up the fact that. They don't like how Sonic ran and then immediately paused and then jumped into that ring at the very last second of the trailer. That's kind of it's not going to be like that in the final product. There is going to be an animation where Sonic slows down. He's not going to stop immediately. That's just stupid. Well, judging judging the ga the actual gameplay animation on something that is clearly artificially animated is kind of stupid. Yeah, I... and people are thinking that's what the physics are going to be, and it's not. No. Open your eyes. <laughs> Real stupid. physics in a Sonic game? The only time I try to do that. <laughs> well, you, you know, you know something that's that's actually kind of uh, that's that's actually kind of heartening is I've I, I've I haven't been like really really keeping up with it, but I have peeked at their blog on it uh, in in the few days before this re reveal, and there was a mention of momentum based gameplay as an important part of the classics, and 
if this was in the midst of an article where they were talking about how they want this to play like the classics and feel like the classics. So I'm definitely seeing a return of decent physics in yeah. this. And you know what else? Uh, just judging by the trailer, his running speed is back to the Genesis running speed. So we're definitely so just judging by that, I'm saying we're not looking at a Sonic Advance 2 or a Sonic Rush here. Yeah, I didn't see any boost meter in there. Oh, oh no. I hope there's, there's no some boost meter, but it, there is the homing yeah, attack hope. for no which, particular reason. Which could work well or could work very badly depending on how it oh, hold on, hold on. I don't, itself right. or how the enemies are designed. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I understand what people might complain about the inclusion of the homing attack when it comes to level design, but just to have it, I really don't see what the big deal is. Because well, Sonic it, Rush, it, had it, the it depends attack. on. Well, Sonic Rush, you wouldn't really use it that much. Because you had the, yeah, that's my. To blow but the that's my point. It didn't change the overall level design of it. He still had it, but it didn't well, affect is, the level. Well, that design. was designed in its own way. This is a essentially this, well, this is supposedly a classic style game with the yeah. homing attack. So you you wonder if it will make the game a little too easy because you can get to areas that you that are, should be more difficult to get to just by well, homing attacking across here, enemies. Here is my hope for the homing attack. Number one, you cannot homing attack things above you like in Sonic Adventure through... Did, when did they well, stop? They only, no, no, they no, only no. started doing that with 06. Well, well... Yeah, 06, you can hope hope enemies above number you. Number two, don't overpower the range. I'm saying... I'm thinking, you know, like, maybe... Uh, well, since this is widescreen, let's say... Half to half the screen long, maybe as far as distance goes. I'd most. only give it a couple enemies length long. Yeah, just well, so its only purpose is to kill enemies right in front of you, so you can't like chain it together yeah. for a long. It's kind of like uh, the instant shield. Yeah, the, the Sonic my, 3. Yeah, but uh, my next hope is please include enough enemies that aren't obscenely easy to homing attack. Like, the the enemies with the spikes on their back in Sonic 1. Try homing attack those. The, uh, what do you call them? Little orb things with all the spike balls floating around them. I can't remember. Well, I don't remember their names. I know you're talking about them. Their names. Yeah, those would be hell to homing attack. <laughs> uh, especially if they're like the ones in Starlight Zone where they never fire off their little spike balls. <laughs> uh, I hate those fuckers. <laughs> and, you know, like, uh, even if it's an enemy like the Punching Crab from Metropolis Zone in Sonic 2, that's that's a competent. You can't attack that from the front usually. You would have to get around it. Or the so, uh, dare dare I say the stupid cricket enemy that hits everyone every time you see it. <laughs> the, the cricket uh, enemy from Sonic 2 in Metropolis Zone. Well, oh, really? the ninjutsu, the ninjutsu man mantis. Yeah, the one That's where you're running call. along just fine, and then boom, you're hit out of yeah, oh, bam. Come you know what? Those are not nearly as bad as the seahorses in in oil ocean zone. Because I will say this: I cannot begin to count the number of times I have been off screen by those fuckers. But <laughs> you know, that's a different rant entirely. No, I think I had more time. I had more trouble with ninja do mantises only because they will most likely attack you the the, the, the second they come screen. up. Yeah, but their yeah. attacks went competently slow. The, the seahorses, they would fire their they would fire their lasers or their little balls <laughs> before they even showed up on screen. So unless you knew they were coming, there's a very good chance you would get hit. Uh it is a good thing I usually have supersonic by the time I get to that level. <laughs> uh, so. but what does everyone think of it being taking place after Sonic 3 and Knuckles? Oh, I think that's really good, actually. And, and it, it, it's well, a good... It, it, because it, it, it looks very much like it's going to be the basic, simple Sonic... No more system. fucking Station Square! Thank <laughs> God! No more, no more humans besides Robotnik. Uh, please. Don't, even have me, don't even make me mention Christopher. <laughs> Uh, well, Dude, he's, 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 uh, like, he's just never a problem with the games, so you know, uh, don't even bring that up. The um, the, the the story seems to be a very simplistic Sonic versus Eggman.